Now, welcome back to the channel, all my hustlers and grinders and go-getters. The ones that wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and say, I'm gonna get money today. We're back with another video. And this is a live premiere video, so make sure you drop us a line, say hi in chat, ask us a question, because we're watching this video right along with you. And we have some jobs on the list, you're coming along. And during our day, we are gonna answer some questions that we had missed in our last live video. So make sure you smash that like button and let's get this money. So we are at the first job of the day and this is a referral from a repeat customer and they have a full load. Now we're at the first job of the day and all this stuff in the front yard goes and in the garage we got a washer and a dryer and inside the house we got a refrigerator which needs to go and also in the backyard we got a bunch of stuff we got all this plus a broken down trampoline that needs to go and inside the house we have a sofa and that's about it. Now guess what? It's random giveaway time. And if you are a channel member, leave a comment and guess how much money we are gonna make at the end of the day. And the member that gets the closest is gonna win. Now, just like that, job is complete. And damn, JoJo, I spilled some damn lighter fluid on myself. You got a lighter? No. I'm just kidding. So here's the first question a subscriber asked. And what was it, JoJo? Um, they were wondering if we offer discounts to repeat customers. It's like this. When you go to your favorite restaurant, do you get a discount? No, you don't. But if they use us, and it's multiple, 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 multiple loads, we'll give them a slight discount. Other than that, it's the same price. Yeah, it's the same price. So we're heading to West Coast Metals to get rid of the refrigerator and the washer and dryer. And we couldn't grab everything, but we grabbed what was priority. Yeah, yeah. And often, you know, if people have more than one load and they only want to pay for one load, you ask them, well, what is the priority? What do you most need to get rid of? And in this case, it was all the big stuff, which made our life a lot easier. Yeah. And plus, we got a $50 tip. I'm loving the business, JoJo. I say that every damn time. We're doing something right, I think. We are doing something right. Customer service is on point. On point. On point. Now, out of curiosity, how much do you guys pay for refrigerators, anything with Freon? Out here in California, we pay $20, but at the landfill, it costs $49. So, thank God we got a scrap place by the house. And JoJo, show them your find of the day. Find of the, oh, we have. So, I found this board and it has foam in the center and we needed something to put our uh, dart game on so that it wouldn't hit the door. So this was perfect. We were actually just talking about grabbing one of these yesterday and we found one at a job. And another thing is a chalkboard. So we can write our scores when we play. 
Jojo is so damn fancy, always finding the good stuff. So now, Jojo, the real question of the day is, how much do you think it's going to cost to dump this load back there? Oh. I'm going to go first, though. Yeah, go I don't first. want you to talk crap, say, no, you always let me go first and you go second. Okay. I'm going to say $76. $76. I'm going to say 68 and leave a comment down below what you guys think. Now we're heading to the dumps. You ready? Yeah. Let's head on out. can't make this stuff up. The JoJo won again. Winner. Or for the first time of the day. Now JoJo, you want to do a thumbnail? Yeah. Let's do one. I think that works. question of the day Jojo forget everything else when you go to the bathroom at the dumps do you hover or do you sit on the toilet you have to definitely assess your situation not just at a porta potty though anywhere I'm going in Jojo <laughs> pray for me please so we got another question from a subscriber and he asked when is the best time to start this type of business I'm gonna let the Jojo take the mic on this one well, really, any time is a great time to start this business. You're definitely going to be busier in the spring and summer months. And I actually don't think that's necessarily the best time because with this type of work, you learn on the job. The more jobs you do, the more you learn. And so I kind of think that it's best to start when it's a little bit slower so you can get a really good feel for this business and do some learning. And you'll learn like where to take things and drop things off and save money. And really what to charge is probably your hardest obstacle. And the more you do that, the better you will get. So, you know, you get that practice in during the slower season that way when it gets super busy like you're ready to rock and roll you know what you're doing holy shit jojo that's why i married you you the shit <laughs> for real so we're heading to the next one and it's in santa rosa california and i do believe she found us off of facebook yeah facebook is great if you're not using facebook as a social media platform to get your business out there get on it Now we're at another one and people always ask, do you pay for leads? Do you pay someone to run your Google ad campaign? Well, we never ran Google ads. We do everything organic. We have a great website that has a bunch of keywords and great SEO. Now, just like that, job is complete, and that was some easy money. And JoJo, what's the next question a subscriber asked? Well, somebody was wondering if we still use Craigslist. 
Yes, we do. Not as much as we used when we first started. So if you're starting this business, I would use it every single day to get your name out there. My buddy actually got a $25,000 job off Craigslist, so it does work. It was a hoarder house, and he made a killing. Yeah, it does work. It does work. So don't think you don't need it. If you're slow, I would definitely post first thing in the morning and maybe in the afternoon and later on in the day. And that will get your phone to ring, but you gotta do it consistent and keep doing it every single day. So Craigslist, it does work. Now we're heading to the next one, Jojo. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm positive. It's getting hot in here, huh? Yeah. How's that song go? It's getting, getting hot, hot in here. here. So take off all, all your clothes. clothes. I am getting so I don't hot. think we can do that before we show up to the customer's house, Jojo. <laughs> Anyways, we're heading there now, so yeah, Craigslist does work. Now, let me tell you guys some. Me and the JoJo, we dodged a real bullet. We almost moved on this street right here. Yeah, we did. And this is the ghetto. <laughs> we almost moved to the ghetto, JoJo. I don't ever want to go back to the ghetto again. Yeah. I'm so glad that we ended up where we are now. Oh yeah, imagine telling people how to get to our house. Yeah, you get off Stony Point exit, you make a ride at the mobile home park, you pass the homeless encampment, you pass a couple crackheads pushing the shopping carts, make a right right there, and there's our house. Thank goodness, JoJo, really, huh? Yeah, for real. I love our neighborhood. We live by firefighters, nurses, business owners, I can't believe it, Jojo. Yeah, we live in a great neighborhood. We really came up. We're moving on up. Moving on up. To the east side of Windsor. <laughs> Windsor, baby. Now we're heading to the next one. Had to stop and tell you guys that little story real quick. Damn, it's hot, Jojo. That AC feels damn good. Now we're at another one and check out this job. The customer actually sent me some pictures a couple days ago and they added a whole lot more stuff to the job. So we getting paid today. Let's get it. So this happens all the damn time. And a subscriber actually asked this question, how often do you show up to jobs? And there's a whole lot more stuff there than the customer said. And Jojo, how often does that happen? All the time. All the damn time. Now Jojo, what's your prediction of the dumpy on this one? I'm gonna say $74. And let's see if Jojo can win twice in a row. You said 74? Yep. I'm going to say $73. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. And we still got to head back over there. So we're not ending the day at 2 o'clock like we normally do. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay. We get money, baby. So we're heading to the landfill. You want to change your bet? Nope. Keeping it. You keeping it? Keeping it. All right. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Now, if you guys want to learn more about the junk business, you should check out JunkCon 2022. It's in North Carolina, well, October 12th through the 14th. Yeah, and we're going to be there. We'll be there, so check it out. JunkCon 22. We are going bigger, better, and badder than ever before. It's not just for Jerry clients this year. This one is actually open to everybody. And listen, you're going to leave with clear actions that you can take to make more money. 
just for followers of Sonoma Strong, everyone that signs up using a Sonoma Strong link is going to get a free Holland and Ballin t-shirt. Click on the link and we'll see you at JunkCon 22. And if you want to get tickets, click on the link in the description down below. So guess who won? I did. It was $68. I whooped the JoJo's ass one time today. Just one. Just one time. Yeah. We're one and one right now. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go potty or what? Yep. Are you gonna hover? Are you gonna hover, baby? Now we're back for round number two, and all this stuff right here goes. And this is a pretty cool looking old school couch, JoJo. This is so old. What, 100 years old? This is at least 100 years old. You look fancy. Fancy. Like Queen JoJo Lena. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Let's get it. Now do me a favor and leave a comment down below what state you're in, how much money you made today, and also how many jobs you did. JoJo has one more question. What is it? Well, somebody asked, what is the most weight you have ever pulled with the Tundra? My 5.7 liter Tundra, I pulled up to 8,500 pounds, counting the trailer. So about 8,500 pounds to 9,000 pounds, I pulled with that thing. It's a beast. We used it, what, two years straight, pulling the trailer and about a ton back there every single day, about, what, three to four loads to the dumps? Yep and never had an issue with it at all. So the Tundra, the 5.7 liter, is a beast for sure. Now we're done for the day. About damn time, JoJo. We gotta hurry up next time, huh? I'm tired today. I'm worn out, it's heck of hot out here. And check out the man cave, it is coming along. I got the couch right there where me and JoJo do freaky stuff at nighttime. We got the foosball table right there where I whoop her ass all the time. And we got the dartboard right there. Where I whoop this ass. Whatever. And I got the Mustang right there, plus room for another car. Another car? <laughs> what you think about that, JoJo? Now, if you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like button, and we'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.